What's going on internet, IG here again today. I'm gonna to be having a really quick first impressions look at Solus OS. Solus OS is a completely independent distribution that has started up over the last couple of months and they are sporting a very new, brand new, uh, freshly developed desktop environment known as Budgie. Budgie desktop environment. Now, in case you couldn't tell already, Budgie is designed to be incredibly simplistic, incredibly user-friendly, and perfect for the desktop user. In fact, their entire ethos around their operating system is to be incredibly user-friendly for the desktop user. So every single package, every single kernel, every single tweak that goes into Solus OS is for the benefit of the average desktop user. And I gotta say, it's very like, I mean, it's early days. We're in the release candidate uh, of this first release of Solus OS, but I've gotta say, I like what I see from a design point of view, from a user experience point of view. This is very much point and shoot. It's the kind of thing that you would be able to hand to your grandma and say, here, try this on. It is mostly GTK based. So you see a lot of GNOME stuff show up here, especially the GNOME 3.16 sort of stuff. And it is based off the kernel 4.1.11, I believe it is. So they bundle in a few different applications out of the box, but I gotta say there's not a whole lot in the repos at this point. They are building the repos constantly and adding more stuff to it. But like I said, they're very fastidious about what they add in and what they allow into the repositories. So as you can see, this is their own little software manager here. They've got a couple of different categories here. And in those categories, you can see they've got some packages there. So even the package manager itself is very bare bones and that obviously manages your updates and stuff like that as well. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna say there's not too much here to shake a stick at. Um, when it comes to what there is available here in the repositories, it's very much slimmed down and very much what they can control at this point. And I guess that's gonna be the point of Solus OS going forward. It's gonna be a very rock solid distribution because it doesn't have any other third parties weighing in on its future or the direction that it should take as a distribution. And, uh, and I like that, I've gotta say. It's interesting to see some of the GNOME stuff come through in this distribution. Uh, I like the way it looks, I like the theming, I like the icons. Um, in terms of functionality, it'll be interesting to see what this distribution can do. For my ideal use case, I could probably picture myself using this on a, uh, on a, on a computer that I'm gonna be doing uh, very mission critical stuff on and I just want a user interface that is gonna get out of the way uh, and not to give me any hassles. And uh, it looks like that's what Solus OS could potentially become. Uh, the package management that they are using, the system that they're using is based off what was once upon a time uh, Pardis Linux's package system, but this is very much their own beast. They're also testing the. They're also testing their own driver management software called DoFlicky, and uh, basically that'll bring in NVIDIA or AMD drivers or even Broadcom wireless drivers if you need them. So they're very much developing it from scratch. This is just a really rough first impressions look. Check it out in the links below. I'll provide a download link where you can download it and give it a shot for yourself. But I think this thing has potential. Uh, it looks pretty slick, and uh, and I guess it takes a lot of the. Uh, it takes a lot of the extra bulk out of GNOME and turns it into something that's very, very lightweight. Uh, so in terms of system resources, the last thing we'll check here, we'll see if we can find a system resource, uh, I guess, statistic. Let's have a look if it's in here. So as you can see, we're using only 267 meg of RAM and that's with me opening up quite a few things. So extremely lightweight. Uh, PC on a stick, anyone? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. That'll be all from me, guys. Catch you in the next video.